Well, I had inspiration to do a uh, certain piece today on this. I was going to take it a certain direction. But then I got down here and realized I don't have much of this clay. So I can't do what I was thinking of doing. So I'm going to go ahead and play with the clay. I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, but the one that I was going to do, I'll have to wait until I get enough clay to do that. And I wish I could tell you what it was going to be, but that would just... Well, I don't know if I'll ever do it. That's the thing. My ideas change now and then, and what I'm thinking I'm going to do for at one time, I uh, end up not doing at all. Time to play with some clay. So anyway, I'm going to start by getting ready to do uh, the face. And uh, prepare to create a character that I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> the clay is stiffened up enough that I can work it now which I couldn't have done last night if I'm going to do a bust I need to make it very dramatic and uh, that's when I got to try to figure out what I'm going to do it's got to be unique now the reason I'm doing it in monster clay is because uh, I'm experimenting with it. I just want to see what I can do with it because it's got some good properties and uh, I'm exploring those properties right now. I did a sculpture years ago of an old warrior who had seen everything in his life change. He uh, started his life the way his family and ancestors had lived it for thousands of years, living off the land I'm just sort of letting myself figure out where this is going to go. I don't know exactly where it's going to go yet. I'm just sort of playing with the clay right now until something clicks. It may click and it may not. I guess I'll have to wait and see. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do an old, old warrior. So I'm going to do the ribs because I want to show the ribs on this old guy. Was it? I remember listening to uh, a speech that uh, Douglas MacArthur, the uh, general of World War II, made it. I remember watching it on TV when he was doing it. 
old soldiers never die. They just fade away. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do with the uh, bottom part of this figure. I think I got an idea, but like I said, like everything else I'm doing right now, I'm going to have to play it by ear. Landlord is doing yard work. Yeah, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm uh, running out of time here. I had a friend stop by, and so it took a little time out of my sculpting. Always nice to have somebody come by. Still don't know how this is going to turn out, but so far I'm not too unhappy with it. I see potential in it. it it's not where I want it yet. And uh, it will be by the time I'm done with this thing. I'm starting to see in my mind what I want to do.
he's worthy with strong and brave when he was young and uh, he's still brave and he's probably still strong in a wiry sort of way but we'll work out the story a little bit more tomorrow Now, I'm going to be going to the foundry sometime this week. It'll probably be Friday. And uh, we're shipping out of bronze to uh, the UK. And I just want to make sure that the uh, bronze is well packed before it goes. All right, everybody, see you in a manana, and uh, hopefully this is going to turn out okay. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.